Good morning, everyone. It's Johnny from WP Johnny, and today I'm going to show you how to manually create a clone or staging site or duplicate your WordPress site onto the same server or onto a new server for any reason. It's important to know the manual method in case your web host doesn't have a simple one click staging option or one click duplicate option. It's also good to know so that you understand how files and databases work. And also, if you're copying a large website, I like to manually do it because it just makes sure that everything's copied correctly. I don't like to rely on automated scripts for really large sites or really mission critical sites. So the manual method, you have to do a few more things, but believe it or not, it's just a few clicks. It's just a few minutes. The process is easier than it seems. So let's go over the brief steps. Uh, let's go over the steps real quick. The first one, add domain or subdomain to your web hosting account if needed. Copy the files, copy the database, create a new database user and add the permissions. It's optional, you can use the old database user, totally fine. Then edit the database credentials in your WP config file. Then edit the site URL and home rows in the WP options database table. Then add the A record for the new site to your DNS settings, DNS settings if needed. And then finally, manually rewrite the URL strings in your database. Sounds like a lot. Believe me, it's easier for me to show you than to explain with words. So this is a site I want to clone, wpspeedchamp.com. I'm going to create a staging site for it. So here, I'm going to go to the web hosting account. I'm using cPanel. If you have a different control panel, follow their guide. So I'm not adding a new domain. I'm adding a new subdomain because it's a staging site. And I'm just going to call it staging. So there you go. That's the URL. I hit create and it's added to the web hosting account. Now, I'm gonna copy the files. So let's go to the file manager right here. You see that's the new directory for the new site. It's empty. This is the directory for the old site. So if you're using file manager, make sure you hit settings and show hidden files so that you see like .ht access and anything else. Then from here, I'm just gonna copy everything except these two directories. I've never needed them. Then we just copy them to the it's not public dot h, uh, underscore html we're going to copy to the new directory so that's going to be staging dot there you go now for some of you oh and here let me just show you see it went there now for some of you uh you're copying to a new server so in that case maybe you go in here and then you hit compress and i like to pick gzip tar and it's going to create there you go it's done and then you see what this file right here you know what to do use ftp download and then upload to the new server and then extract it there so now we've already copied the files next thing we got to do is copy the database so let's go here we need to create the new database to copy it too so i'm going to call it uh the old one's called speed so let's call the new one speed staging and we create it here okay now uh we're gonna also we go over here, PHP my admin, and you see the old database has stuff, and the new database is empty. So let's go to the old one, hit export. This is a small database, so I can just hit go right away. Exports it, downloads very quick. Now, if let's say if it's a huge database and we have any pro you're having problems importing, or it's just too big that you're waiting forever to to upload it. Uh, sorry, leave that alone. Just click on custom, scroll down here to compression, pick gzip and then download it. We'll download gzip in gzip format. It's actually gonna be smaller and you'll be, okay. Now from here, what we're going to do is we've already exported, so now we just import it back. So if you were on a new server, then you would switch to the other web hosting account. We go over here, we click import and we choose file. Now you see, you see these two files, they're different sizes. See this one was not gzip, was not compressed. This one was, doesn't matter which format, both will import just fine. So I'm just gonna pick that and I import it. And boom, done. Okay, so now from here, um, I might be going slightly out of order, but because we're already here, it's so convenient. Let's just do it now. Underscore options, right here. We're gonna go uh, staging, right? That's a new URL. Oh, I spelled it wrong Add it from there. Now. Uh, I can edit, I can double click and edit there. I can also just click here and edit from in there. It's the same thing either way. Of course, I'm staging.wpchamp is mine. Maybe yours will be a different domain. So from here, what I have to do now is I go to back to the file manager. I go to this one and I have to edit the WP 
config. Okay, so here we are. So we wanted to use a new URL, the new, uh, the new database, sorry. Okay, now you see how I, I, I made this new database username and I'm gonna use the same pass. Let's just copy that right now. And then let's go back here and here. And we're gonna create a new database user just to be safe. You actually don't have to, you can use the same one. See how I use the same password? You can also create a new password. Okay, we create a new database user. And let's just make sure that we, we give them uh, full permissions. There you go, full permissions, make changes, done. It's got permissions. Now the last thing to access the site, if, if you're not using your web hosting DNS, you're using, you're like me, doing Cloudflare, we just have to add an A record, okay? Da, 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 da. Okay, there you go, I'm gonna leave that off. Staging, boom, okay. And by now, you know, sometimes this, this URL will come up pretty quick. Boom, there it is. So we have the site here and it's loading off the new domain, which is fantastic, but you see this? Oh, okay, it, it, already, it already copied. Well, in some cases, it still points to the old domain. So I'm gonna show you how to rewrite the URLs. And uh, it's this. Oh, I typed it wrong, sorry. Dun. Okay, I'm in. There are two plugins we can use. We can use uh, Migrate DB, W command Migrate DB, or we can use Better Search Replace. I like this one because you can manually choose tables, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Reactivate, and go to Tools, and it's here. Then from here, we're gonna do, uh, put in the URL, put in the new URL, And we pick all the tables. Now for a really big, a uh, large database, and remember, to turn off dry run, because it's not dry run, it's a real deal. For a really large database, you might just want to do only a couple tables at a time, or else you'll get the error. And if you get the error, then, you know, but this is small, so I like to do everything at once. And I hit run search for place, and all the URLs are changed. So there you go, I found a few places that it had to change. And let's go back to the and there you go, our site is working. Now there, uh, th our staging site is working. There's just one little detail I forgot to put. So sometimes the, the database URL is, uh, even though you set it here, it doesn't work. It's because it was manually defined in the WP config file. So sometimes it's up here, it'll see something like define site URLs, define site address. It might be up here or it might be lower in the database file somewhere. It might be somewhere. But anyways, that's it, it's done. That's how you manually clone and duplicate a site. Pretty easy. And there you go, learn it so you know for the future.